Hello everybody, it's Craig from Mobile Tech Talk and we are recording in 4K with the Sony Xperia 1. So, a review on this device is coming soon. Um, I just thought I'd put a couple of video um, snippets up and obviously audio just to show what the 4K footage from the Xperia 1 is, is like. Um, so the device is a little bit stranger. So. It does have the sort of triple, cap set, uh, a triple camera setup, easy for me to say, um, that a lot of devices in 2019 and the back end of 2018 started to have. Um, some even have four now. Um, so it does have a flagship, in quotes, um, camera setup. But it has a slightly strange aspect ratio, so it's much larger in the hand, the device. So it's actually nice to use one-handed. Um, it's very slippery because of the glass construction um, on the front and the back, so no wireless charging here. Um, however, let's take it for a walk um, with some difficult dynamic range in these woods and see what it's like. So you can record at 4K, you can record at 1080p 60 or 1080p 30. And we'll do a 1080p 60 shortly. Um, I have had a warning on the screen already telling me that if the device gets too hot, it will shut down my video recording. Which way should we go? Let's go down here, because I know it's a little bit darker here. Let's get some of that sun coming through the trees, see what that looks like. So apologies if I seem a little bit out of breath. I've been busy this morning. I've been doing things in the garden because this is probably day one of only six or seven that we get in the UK that counts as a summer um, because it's been hideous recently. So let's just slow down a little bit. I don't, it looks like it's incredibly jittery on this screen, on the viewfinder. Um, but I don't know how that's going to look when I export it. We'll see. We will see. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, as I was saying, the front and back of this device is Gorilla Glass 6. So you do have some protection there. And it does have uh, IP68, I believe, dust and waterproofing. Which is good. Um, a lot of companies are starting to deliver devices that basically have protection. But they just haven't spent the money to get it certified. Um, so they can't call it out in their marketing. There's a um, six and a half inch OLED screen on this, which is nice to see. The colours are very, very vibrant when you um, look at the media consumption. And yes, you can change the temperature control on the device as well. So if you prefer that sort of Samsungified warming effect, you can. Um, it has a 4K display. Of course it does. It's Sony. It has a 4K display. For all of those 4K to, um, files that you're going to watch on your phone, that will look much, much better than the 1080p quality. Obviously, I'm being facetious. Um, I don't see the point of having a 4K screen on a device such as this in terms of size. But, you know, that's, it's a nice to have. It's big numbers. But the, the key standout for me is the, um, the pixel density. It's over 600, so 643 ppi. So it's very crisp. And to be fair, it looks beautiful. Um, and that aspect ratio again is 21 by 9, which is different to the 19 odd aspect ratio you get on a lot of other devices that are a little bit tall. It does come with Android Pie. Um, it does run the latest Snapdragon um, 855, which is good. Um, it comes in a 6428 config, I think, with 6 gig of RAM. So the camera, what I'm using to obviously record this at the moment, You've got a triple camera setup, as I said. They're all 12 megapixel um, sensors. You have a <clears throat> 12 megapixel um, 1.6 f-stop, which is a wide angle. You then have a 2.4 f-stop telephoto, and you then that has um, two time optical zoom as well. Sorry, and the um, the wide so primary basically has um, uh, face detection, autofocus, and optical image stabilization as well. So does the telephoto. Um, so that's good. And then the ultra wide doesn't have optical image stabilization. 
um, but it is still 12 megapixel and it's a 2.4 f-stop so you can actually get some good depth of field on an ultra wide which okay um, as it as it says um, there's a 4k recording um, 30 fps which is hopefully what I'm doing here uh, and you do have super slow-mo 960 fps at 1080p as well which is cool and on the front you've got an 8 megapixel um, HDR camera capable of 1080p 30 fps so just while I'm walking around here I'll tell you a little bit more about what I've done with this device um, I've never been a huge fan of the Sony skin um, but I've actually they've, they've slimmed it down just like Samsung had to do and just like LG kind of had to do and well they had to do it but they kind of did it um, they have done and I'm, I'm actually okay with it um, there's no Android jank that I can see what I have noticed though is that the point and shoot sort of stills that I can get from this are nowhere near as good as I would expect them to be from a device sporting a Sony um, a Sony sensor which is basically ubiquitous in smartphones it seems strange to me that Sony keeps putting out decent hardware with poor optics when they license their sensors off and other people deliver great optics so anyway um, there's a muddy pool that people have created here I'm sure it'll look beautiful at some point but um, yeah I'm gonna stop there because this is over six minutes um, let's just do a bit of zooming now we've walked down there so obviously this is the wide angle lens that's my two times optical zoom just do that again uh, yeah god it's so janky on the viewfinder I'm sure it's not going to be in playback it's just processing and trying to display it in real time on the screen and struggling a little bit um, I'm not saying that that's an Xperia 1 issue I think that may just be codec and may just be I've seen it on other devices as well to be fair so if I just give you a quick overview just before I stop the video the screen that I'm looking at compared to the scene that I'm looking at is a little bit washed out uh, it's capturing the sky pretty correctly but as soon as I move out of the sky and look down at the ground it's a lot more washed out the greens are much more pale the browns of those trees the brownie greens of those trees as you can see with this one over here um, it's a little bit more rusty colored um, in real life with a little bit of the moss at the bottom as you can see sort of down here um, you're getting the moss bit but the rusty color you're not really getting are you it, on the screen at least um, it just looks like a sort of light brown uh, maybe even a slight grey and then maybe that's the, the white wash that's applied to it so um, I'm going to try a 1080p 60fps just to see what the stabilisation is like as well and um, yeah this is Craig from Mobile Tech Talk keep an eye on the website and our Instagram feeds a link in the description for both of those uh, like and subscribe please it does help and um, yeah keep an eye out for the full review of the Sony Xperia 1